Play hard, grind hard, stay hard, no, we stay out. Make your way out, but I just can't stop, won't stop hustling. Great is the great that's good as the citations. Once again, I go by the name of the Black Abstract. Get you into the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and the notification bell, and all that good stuff. Uh, let's get it started. Mike Epps released a special uh, a couple of weeks ago, last week, I believe. Uh, uh, I'm a little late, but hey, better late than never, they say. But never late is better. Uh, he got a new special. It's called Mike Epps, Indiana Mike. Uh, he's come back to his hometown, in Indianapolis. Uh, it's his third Netflix comedy special uh, where he went back to his hometown where he received a proclamation from the mayor and a local congressman during the end credits. Uh, what kind of honors would you bestow upon Epps this hour, though? Your answer may depend on how much you live, love, and breathe indie. Um, Mike Epps uh, has starred in a numerous uh, Netflix uh, things, The Upshaws, uh, Don't Take It Personal, and Only One Mike. Uh, the third time, the Chimer opted for a full-on homecoming, not only filming his new hour in a hometown this past November, but also getting the mayor uh, and a congressman in the act, as I previously stated. Um, he also had an audience of basketball players from the Indiana Pacers, uh, as well as even a, his criminal defense lawyer from 30 years ago, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> Um, the comedy special is uh, reminiscent of Gary Oman filming in his 2021 Showtime special, Black Famous, in his hometown of Cincinnati. What with the bulk of the stories revolve around local reference and how the comedian is perceived by the locals. Uh, I love the joke about the, uh, the COVID-19 COVID vaccine, uh, the mango Moderna, how they, they would have different flavors. Um, <laughs> how black people will rush to get them if they came, uh, with flavors, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm gonna be honest, for the most part, this was probably Epps' worst, uh, comedy special. It just didn't hit. Um, it felt like he didn't have any material and he just decided, and a lot of people say that's what Mike Epps, he just kind of, uh, freestyles his comedy, you know, he just kind of just goes off the vibe. Our audience, and that's how he 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 translates uh, and transitions into giving his uh, comedic talent to the people, uh, and it was evident. You know, it, did, it seemed like he didn't have any source material. Maybe he scrapped it last minute when he realized some of the jokes weren't landed. I don't know what it was. I will say his last special uh, definitely was a lot better than this, and. I just don't, I don't know. I, I just he just didn't stick the landing, you know. And it's it's like that with Mike Epps. Some he have he'll have a good one, then he'll have a one that's not so good. Then he'll have a great one, then he have another one that's not so good. It's just like a pattern on Mike. Uh, I love Mike Epps. I always want to see him do well. But uh, listen, I'm a I'm a I'm a real person, and I'm gonna keep it a buck, Mike. This ain't it. Uh, you know I rate everything with Mike's. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh. Out of five mics, I'm going to probably get this a two. I'm sorry, Mike. Uh, try better next time. If you knew better, you do better. Uh, post your comments below and let me know what you guys thought about this special. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it was trash like I did? Uh, and as always, peace, love, and prosperity. I'm the Black Abstract. One. Wow.